What's up everybody, Brick Sanchez here and today I want to show you this awesome box that I received from Game of Bricks um, with a lot of lighting elements inside of it. Now this is a bit different than my usual light kit hauls uh, because this only has one light kit in it for the Razor Crest and for the rest we just have a bunch of do-it-yourself components and lighting accessories inside of it uh, that I will be using for my Hogwarts mock as well as some other future projects. Now let's not waste any more time looking at this box here. I'm just gonna open it up and show you guys what's inside of here. So yeah, once we open it up we see these awesome uh, lamp posts here, those are uh, just a couple more that I needed. I still need a bunch more to really complete the streets and stuff. But so yeah, now we got four more of those. I also have another traffic light, um, which is lying around here somewhere, ready to be installed in the city. So yeah, these are very awesome. So these come just with their own USB plug. I'm quickly gonna take one out. These are the warm white ones. You also have some cold white ones, but I haven't really seen anyone use the cold white ones. I'm not sure they're not very popular. I think the warm white ones give a much nicer um, lighting vibe and stuff so as you can see we can take this off there's a little LED inside of there so yeah that's pretty cool uh, yeah anyway moving on then next up we have this kit that I was talking about earlier so this is the Razor Crest kit here so very awesome can't wait to have that installed and put in my cabinet upstairs uh, so yeah we're not gonna look at this today uh, and then we have this box here which is pretty jam-packed full of little baggies with some components as you can see we got some circuit boards we got some of these wireless connectors and stuff but yeah i'm just gonna open it up quickly pour it out of here all right so as you can see we got lots lots and lots of baggies here so yeah i'm quickly gonna sort this out and then i'm gonna show you what we got in here all right so now i've sorted them out a little bit as you can see it's still pretty messy out there uh, but anyways uh, if you are interested in any of these lighting accessories or components the links to all of these will be in the description be sure to check that out now game of bricks is my sponsor there are some affiliate links in there uh, so you just know whenever you buy something through that link uh, you can help out the channel as well so i get a little bit of commission from that now you can also use my code brick uh, to receive 15% off, uh, which is always nice. And I believe that they're having a sale at the moment on the Game of Bricks website. So all of that stuff, you can find that in the link. Links in my description below. So yeah, anyways, let's have a little look at what we got here. I've kind of sorted this out now. Uh, on the left side, we got a bunch of these wireless connector pieces. Now, if you're not familiar with this, um, these are actually very handy tools very handy pieces so you can have the floor separating and stuff if you would like to see that in action be sure to check out my video um, on the boutique hotel where i have used them where i've modified um, the lighting kit which uh, the official lighting kit from game of bricks i've upgraded it with these uh, little bricks in here and i'm going to use a bunch of these for my hogwarts mock and as well for my police station uh, which i will be enlarging a little bit in the future as well as perhaps my diagon alley um, excuse me my daily bugle build which I'm also gonna add a floor to. Uh, so yeah, I got a bunch of these. I got 18 of these actually. So yeah, they're very handy. I've been using them a lot uh, in my, uh, in my uh, what is it, Hogsmeade Village as well, just so I can remove all of the buildings uh, and get some easy access to the back and stuff. So if you don't know about these bricks, you should really, because they're very handy, uh, especially to reach the insides of um, your buildings and such. So yeah, anyways, I got 18 of those. I'm probably gonna go through them pretty fast. They're very handy. Yeah, anyways, let me take these out of here. You get them in light bluish gray or in black as well. And then finally, we got a bunch of other little baggies here with some different type of components, which are conveniently labeled out here um, because I have a little box of uh, extra components and stuff. And if you don't label them properly, you're gonna have a hell of a hell of a time to find out which is which and to have to test it all out with a USB plug and stuff. It's really, really annoying. So I did that once. Um, so now I know what, what's in each bag. But yeah, anyways, let's have a look here. First off, we got some 15 centimeters bit light warm white. Uh, lights out here so those are the little bit lights that you probably have seen in some kits and stuff these are 15 centimeters um, so yeah pretty useful i need the 30 centimeter ones i think they're in here as well for my uh, great hall for all of the lanterns surrounding that um, but yeah anyway that was the first one then we got some of these warm white strip lights now these are perfect to um, light up floors and stuff you can put them on the ceiling so uh, a big uh, like the floor is lit up completely and stuff i'm going to use that for my hogwarts uh, rooms and classes then next up we got some more of those warm white strip lights i'm gonna need a bunch of those for the hogwarts of course then next up we got some green strip lights so these are very awesome very ominous looking uh, when they're lit up and i'm gonna be using this for the um, little chamber of secrets underneath the platform and stuff so yeah that's gonna be awesome and then next up we got some of these expansion boards um, so yeah if you're if you're using these light uh, components and stuff you will always need a bunch of these because uh, you can use these or you can see this one, uh, these uh, strip lights have two of the entrances as well, or two of the plugs as well, just to um, 
use like some expansion cables or to put a bit light in here and then the USB, USB in here or something. But you're always gonna need some of these connection boards um, as well because I've uh, always fell short of them whenever I needed them. So yeah, either way, these are um, these have four plugs in there. So those are pretty awesome. I got a couple more with like eight. You got some with eight, you got with 12, I believe. Oh yeah, you can see it out here. So two, three, four, six, eight, 12. But yeah, anyways, then we got the last little lighting element in here and those are the 30 centimeter bit lights uh, the warm white lights that i was talking about for my hogwarts lanterns now what i'm gonna do with these though at first i'm gonna paint the um, or spray paint the cables in full black uh, because the railing of my hogwarts great hall is black and i don't really want to see these uh, red red and black light uh, or strings in there because that would break up kind of like the magic of hogwarts we don't want to see any exposed cables in there all right, so now that we've seen everything inside of this hall, I thought it would be pretty cool to show you guys um, how I'm going to put all of these inside of my lighting accessories, bins and stuff, and show you the type of uh, system that I'm working with uh, here. So yeah, let's have a look at that. All right, guys, so now right in front of us, we got the four main bins where I keep all of my lighting stuff in. Um, now, if you want to see a full in-depth video of every individual thing in here, be sure to leave a comment and I might make one of those, but I'm going to try to keep it quick today. Um, either way, I'm probably going to fail doing that. But so yeah, let's start off with this little uh, candy bin here. So this one is filled up. This is what I like to call the Light Kit Graveyard, actually. So uh, this is for all of our fallen soldiers, all of uh, lighting accessories with snapped cables and stuff awaiting to be fixed. Uh, but so yeah, I keep them in here. I might, if I have time, check it out, try to fix them. Then we got the next box in here. Now this one has a bunch of USB accessories, like this USB splitter in here. Got a couple more of those. I believe we got a splitter with like five USB outputs. Then we have some more of these. Now I ordered these from AliExpress. A lot of these, like I believe these expansion or uh, extension cables are only 60 cents. So I've been looking around on the internet on uh, AliExpress and stuff for that. Now let's have a little look out here as well. We got a little um, UV light as well with a USB fixture. And then we also have a power bank and stuff. But yeah, either way, let's move on now. So now we only have two of these organizing uh, bins or uh, containers or whatever it's called. Um, in front of us now these are the two main ones that i use now one of these is uh, just purely for like the components and stuff everything that works with those plug connections and this one out here is for all of the other stuff which has a direct usb uh, plug connected to it so let's have a little look at that first here of course we got the little game of bricks sticker there very very awesome i love it when uh, brands include stickers i'm uh, just a sucker for stickers but yeah anyways let's have a little look here so now let's start off with this one out here with all of the USB um, components that we got with the direct USB plug in it. So yeah, on, on this side here, we got some of these traffic lights that I was talking about earlier. Now I thought I only had, sorry for the noise there. I thought I only had one, but there are apparently three of those now. So I still have to uh, install them in the city as fast as possible, actually. Uh, so yeah, let's take a look at that. Now, out here, we also have another little shining uh, blue light here or flashing blue light. Which is very awesome probably going to use it for the patronus charm out here we got some lightsabers which are pretty awesome i still want to make that uh qui-gon jinn and uh dart mole final battle there uh that little set there i want to have them lit up dart mole already has a saber there and then moving on out here we got some uh, of these light tailing um light kits actually so i believe one of these was for the parisian or one of the strings was a uh, came from a set for the Parisian restaurant. I'm not sure what this one came from. Uh, but yeah, anyways, before I knew about these components and stuff, before I even knew uh, Game of Bricks and those brands, uh, three years ago or something, I ordered all of my stuff on a, um, AliExpress. And out there you could buy the kits for very cheap. I believe the Parisian restaurant was about $11 only. So I bought an extra one of that to make it like, uh, to make like custom, um, custom light kits for other buildings and stuff. But then you always had to make sure that you had like one light with, with one of those connectors and uh, with one of those bricks in, in it and stuff. So that was a lot harder than, uh, than the luxury we have now with all of these separate components and stuff. Um, but either way, moving on here, we got these ones. These are the regular light ones for the floors. This came from a very, very ugly kit that I had in um, the diner at first, which I swapped out. You can check out the video for that as well. Uh, but so yeah, these are all of the regular lights like this, just which are only uh, used for floors and stuff to light up the floors. So yeah, out here we got the lamp posts. Um, but on this side, I've put the ugly ones because this is also a cold white one. And for some reason, one time I, this is from light tailing, as you can see, um, I ordered some of these and they were like an orange type of light. So I still have to find a, a good place to put those in. Still not sure where, perhaps in the harbor part, if I make that ever so. All right, so that was what is, was inside of this first bin here. Now let's check out the second one. 
Now moving on with the second uh, little organizing bin that we have here. This features all of the components. Uh, so all of the accessories that use the little plug connection like uh, Bricks Max, Game of Bricks, even Light My Bricks use as well, exactly the same connectors. Uh, so yeah, let's have a little look. We got the USB ones, of course, to uh, add power to whatever circuit boards or whatever configuration you're gonna add. Then out here, we got the wireless connectors. So we're gonna have to fill up that little, uh, that little bin out there as well later with all of the new ones that we received. Now, out here in the middle, we have a bit of a special one. So these are all of the um, set specific um, accessories. So this one came from a Disney uh, Disney Castle light kit. Um, it also has that little plug connector, but as you can see, it has those uh, lovely small white cables that I really love to use. Those are very great to put in between bricks and stuff. Uh, then underneath here, we got a special one as well. Uh, so we got a couple of these, what is it, like spotlights and stuff. We got this one out here. It uses a bit of a, a, a wider connection there. So a bit of a, I think these are like color changing ones, but yeah, it uses a different type of cable. And then on this side, we have a very special one as well. This is like an IR sensor, so an infrared sensor. So if you move, like if you put your hand over it, it goes on and off and stuff. So very special. Here we also have a little... Um, a uh, little effects board, so it has a couple of effects, you can adjust the speed. Uh, and then we have another IR sensor out here. Then out here we have one of the most important ones, of course. Uh, we got a bunch of cables here. This one is, uh, this is a bag that I pulled from the uh, Bricks Max, um, what was it, Ecto-1 kit that I had, that I re uh, replaced with a game of Bricks 1. Uh, but so anyways, you can see we got a bunch of cables out here, a couple of loose ones as well. Uh, still have to organize them properly, get them, um, it's like 5, 10, 15 and 30 centimeters that you can have, so I'm gonna have to uh, put those all together. Then in the top left corner we have a couple of these bricks where you can attach the light strips to, and then we also have some of these uh, sticky, sticky things out here, so you can just like... Uh, stick the light, uh, the bit lights or whatever on into some places where you cannot uh, just properly attach them to a brick. Then next to that we have a bunch of these connection boards. As you can see this one has I believe um, eight, eight slots in there, so very awesome. Then this little um, bin out here has a lot of these uh, strip lights, so these are multicolor lights. As you can see with my lovely handwriting there, um, <laughs> I've had to put it on there so I would, I would know what's inside the bag of course. Then we got a couple of more uh, in uh, white, just regular white light, cold white light. Then we got some, one of this long one here as well, uh, which has been used. I did not put a sticker on here, so I still have to do that. It has been used in the Daily Bugle and some other kits as well. And then finally on the top right here, we have a bunch of bit lights. So we got like a cold white, oh, so this is an empty bag actually. We got a multicolor one as well. We got the 30 centimeters warm white. Uh, we got the red light here. Uh, we got some warm white, some blue lights out here as well from the Ecto-1, I pulled those out of there. But yeah guys, now that I've failed to keep it short here um, and shown you everything that we have in these boxes, I'm quickly gonna start filling them up with our new loot that we had from Game of Bricks here. So yeah, let's start off out here with our little box full of the wireless connectors. So I'm gonna be putting those out here in their bin here. So I got a couple of those now. Probably enough for my future projects for a couple of months, so that's very awesome. We also have a little little box here, which comes a lot of times with these Game of Bricks kits, which is very awesome, especially when you buy the components. Uh, if So if you don't have enough bins at home, you can always use those as well. All right, I'm moving on with the lamp posts here. Uh, these ones have the regular USB connection, and I'm going to add them in here right next to our, um, or along with our traffic lights. Now, unfortunately, there isn't enough room out here, so I'm going to have to put some on the ugly side as well. All right, and then we have our final bags here. So yeah, let's check it out. We got the warm white strip lights here. So I'm going to be adding those to the strip lights. We got the 30 centimeter, centimeter bit lights here as well. So those are going with the bit lights, the expansion boards out here. We got some more warm white strip lights. We got the green strip lights. And finally, we got the 15 centimeter uh, bit lights out here. But yeah guys, so far this video on the Game of Bricks haul that we received today and also the inclusion of that in these uh, little sorting bins and stuff. So yeah, I don't think it's going to be necessary for me to make a separate video on all of the elements we had out here. Um, I just realized while I was making the video I had to discuss that first before I was going to show you where I was going to put everything uh, from the new haul and stuff. Um, so yeah, anyways, if you have enjoyed this video, be sure to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell as well and be sure to be on the lookout for some future videos where I will be including these uh, in my mocks and future projects as well. Alright guys, thanks a lot for watching and I will see you in the next video.